everyone. How are you? I'm Miss Juwita. Welcome back to English lesson. So please prepare yourself, your book, and also your stationery. Let's start our lesson now. Our lesson by today is taken from Backpack Workbook Unit 2, page 11 to 15. While well, student, on page 11 and 12, you will find words like in, on, in front of, behind, between, and under. So these words we call preposition atau kata depan. Murid-murid, pada halaman 11 dan 12, kamu akan menemukan kata in, on, in front of, behind, between, dan under. Ini, kata ini kita sebut preposition atau kata depan. Let me tell you the meaning of each preposition below. Let me tell you the meaning of each the preposition. In di dalam, on di atas, in front of di depan, behind di belakang, between di antara, under di bawah. Now let's do the exercise on page 11. Unit 2. Fun and Games. Page 11. Activity 1. Listen and write. Draw lines to match. Now let's continue to do the exercise on page 12. Exercise 2. Look, write, use words from the box. So, there are some prepositions in the box. So, you will fill the blanks by using the preposition in the box. Behind di belakang, between di antara, in di dalam, in front of di depan, on di atas, dan under di bawah. Let's start from number one. The ball is blank 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 the table. Where is the ball? Right, the ball is under the table. Bola berada di bawah meja itu. Next, number two. The marbles are blam 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 the box. Take a look for the picture. Where are the marbles? Right, the marbles are in front of the box. Kelereng itu berada di depan kotak itu. Next, number three. The frog is blam 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 the tree and the bush. Where is the frog? Right, the frog is between the tree 
and the bush. Katak tersebut berada di antara pohon dan semak-semak. Next, number four. The kite is blam 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 the tree. Take a look for the picture. Where is the kite? Lihat gambarnya di manakah layangan tersebut? Right, the kite is behind the tree. Layangan tersebut berada di belakang pohon itu. Next, number five. The backpack is blam 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 the chair. Take a look for the picture. Where is the backpack? Right, the backpack is on the chair. Ransel tersebut berada di atas kursi tersebut. Next, number six. The cat is blam 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 the backpack. Where is the cat? Right, the cat is in the backpack. Kucing tersebut berada di dalam ransel. Next, we go to page 13. Exercise 3, write like or likes. What like or likes are? Like or likes dalam bahasa Indonesia artinya suka atau menyukai. Well, subject I yang artinya saya dan D yang artinya mereka as plural subject are followed by like. I like they like meanwhile he and she are followed by likes because he yang artinya dia untuk laki-laki dan she yang artinya dia untuk perempuan are singular subjects yang artinya hanya satu orang now let's go to the exercise number one they blam 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 playing chess They here as plural subject yang artinya lebih dari satu orang. So, we write down like. They like playing chess. Mereka suka bermain catur. Next, number two. He blank 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 flying kites. He here as singular subject yang artinya hanya satu orang. So, we use or we write down likes. He likes flying kites. Dia suka menerbangkan layang-layang. Number three, she blank 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 climbing trees. She here as singular subject, yang artinya adalah satu orang. So, we use or we write down likes. She likes climbing trees. Dia suka memanjat pohon. Next, number four, they blank 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 playing hide and seek they here as plural subject so we use like they like playing hide and seek mereka suka bermain petak umpet next number five i blam 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 skipping i here as a plural subject so we use like and we write down like I di sini menggunakan like, jadi kita tulis like. I like skipping. Saya suka lompat tali. Next number six. C blam 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 scaring. C here as singular subject, yang artinya subjeknya terdiri dari satu orang. So we use or we write down likes. She likes scaring, yang artinya dia suka bermain sepatu luncur. Next, exercise 4. Look, draw lines to match. Write the answers. Pada exercise 4, kita akan tarik garis dari pertanyaan sebelah kiri kepada kegiatan atau aktivitas yang terdapat pada gambar di sebelah kanan. There are three pictures on the right side. The first is playing chess, yang artinya adalah bermain catur. And then the second picture is skipping, artinya lompat tali. And then the third picture is riding a bike, artinya naik sepeda. Next to the question. Number one, what does she like doing? 
apa yang dia suka lakukan. So in this question, she has the subject yang artinya adalah dia untuk perempuan and then she is singular subject. Nah, gambar dua merupakan gambar perempuan dan terdiri dari satu orang. Jadi jawaban yang tepat untuk nomor satu yaitu gambar dua. Jadi kita tarik garis dari pertanyaan nomor satu kepada gambar dua. So we write down the answer. She likes skipping. Dia suka lompat tali. Next number two. What does he like doing? Apa yang dia suka lakukan? He here as the subject dan he di sini artinya adalah dia untuk laki-laki. So, the correct answer for the questions number two is the third picture. Jadi jawaban yang tepat untuk pertanyaan nomor dua adalah gambar tiga. So we draw line. Jadi kita tarik garis dari pertanyaan nomor dua kepada gambar yang nomor tiga. So we write down the answer. He likes riding a bike because he is the singular subject karena he adalah subject tunggal atau terdiri dari satu orang maka kita menggunakan likes dia suka naik sepeda next number three what do they like doing apa yang mereka suka lakukan of course the answer is the first picture tentu saja jawabannya adalah gambar nomor satu karena they is Plural subject yang terdiri lebih dari satu orang. So, we draw line to the first picture and we write down the answer. They like playing chess. Mereka suka bermain catur. Well, children, now let's continue to the next page. That is page 14. Exercise 5. Count and write the number word. So, you need to fill the blanks by using the number word in the box. Jadi, anak-anak, untuk mengisi titik-titik yang terdapat pada exercise 5, kamu menggunakan kata bilangan yang terdapat dalam kotak. Kamu pastikan dulu menghitung objek atau benda-bendanya, kemudian kamu isi jawabannya dengan menggunakan kata bilangan seperti contoh nomor satu yang sudah dikerjakan buat kamu next page 15 exercise 7 right use words from the box jadi murid-murid menuliskan jawaban yang terdapat dalam kotak yang terdiri dari ball yang artinya bola bike yang artinya sepeda chess yang artinya catur kite yang artinya layangan dan trees yang artinya pohon. So now, Miss will try to answer number one. I like flying a blank 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 blank. Saya suka menerbangkan sebuah. So what do you think? What that we can fly? Apa yang bisa kita terbangkan? Ball, bike, chest, kite or trees? Of course, kite. So the answer is kite. I like flying a kite. Saya suka menerbangkan layang-layang. So, students, the rest of the questions you do by yourself at home. Jadi, murid-murid, kamu kerjakan selebihnya ya di rumah. Well, students, that's all about our lesson time today. Please keep studying and practicing at home. See you on the next lesson.